Hello, fellow Capricorns. It is I, your mid-April to May reading of this current year, which is 2019. Hello. I'm going to say 18 at some point. Like, there's no way I'm not getting away with it. Uh, anyway, this is going to be a Thunderdome, so it's going to be a reading for two people. You and whoever you deal with, you guys should know the rules by now, because... Yeah, what? I gotta repeat myself just for newcomers. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, cool beans. If not, don't worry about it. Should be whacking my shit anyway. So you probably don't only want a part of it. But if you are, stay tuned. We're gonna start with Group 1 as accordingly. Group 1. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, first card for you is a King of Wands Reverse. Then, Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in the Wants and Wishes. Justice in the Fears and Rejection. I better not be in this, I swear to fucking Christ, I will be so fucking nettled. The Hermit Reverse in the Situation. Seven of Wands reverse in the obstacles and challenges coming against you. And the Eight of Wands reversed in the catalyst as well as the final result. Good. <laughs> and the beginning theme is Page of Pentacles. A tentatively but promising offer. Maybe not be the most skilled. But they managed to create something with just a wrench and some nuts and shit. Like, managed to create this like a robot. Sorry. That almost sounded like it landed in the garbage. That would have been awesome if I tossed that over my shoulder <laughs> and it landed in that. If only the garbage can was still there. But yeah, like... Someone was trying to send in a... Oh, I needed to get in here and fix this shelf. Look. Hold on a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, like... Might be... I don't know if that's a kid or not. I don't think so. I just think it's someone being impulsive. Um, kind of planning things out. And it still works out in the end. Despite the fact it looks like there's nothing happening. Let's see. King of Wands, group one. But he's reversed, so it could be a Leo who is um, being a little bit too demanding. Child, King Prince, being very unfair, not being considerate, not doing, being way too strict and over demanding with this rule. Uh, <clears throat> All pine cones. Yeah. I was like, what am I smelling? Um, I almost thought it would smell like weed. <clears throat> this King of Wands, um, seems like they want to come out of unhealthy relationships or something. Or maybe something to do with a Capricorn. Or something like that. But it's like ending something that's bad for them. Some sort of connection, right? <clears throat> And then we have the Hermit Reverse down here, where it's like someone is definitely isolating themselves for not a good reason. Can't see the time of day, don't want to be involved in the time of day, all that jazz, right? Ooh, Hermit again. Yeah. Isolating yourself in order to isolate yourself to figure things out. Like, isolating yourself for the wrong reasons helps you isolate for the right reasons. It's like, you went in for a wrong whatever, but then oh, you're coming out and be like, Ah, yeah, okay, I understand why I did this now, all this. Um, someone wants to give their cup to a possibly Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or maybe they want to receive a cup from that person but they're kind of a fibber this is Sagittarius's card reversed queen of wands she is very um 
demanding, very bitchy, will lie about things, doesn't want to, like, actually talk to people. She's too busy worried about her image, I feel like, than she is offering her cup up. Like, she wants to offer her cup, but she's expecting people to come to her, which is just kind of like, okay, whatever. Then we have Seven of Wands right here. Where if someone feels like they can't get out of the situation, what's going against them, right? Like, what you want, group one, is to have your cup, or to offer a cup to this queen of wands, even though I don't know why, because it's like you're trying to get out of this vibration of da-da-da. Um, but down here, you feel like you're stuck and you don't know what to do in order to end all of this chaos and battling with the five of wands reverse. You want to get away in order to get away from the fighting and stuff. You just don't know how yet. And then there's this fear, <laughs> which is this... Um, Justice card, which is Libra's card, right? Offering their cup up to you. Who is the Justice card? No, not the Justice card. The Justice card, smart ass. Yeah, you you might be afraid that some that like karma will come in and like offer a cup to you, or you're afraid a Libra is gonna come and offer a cup to you, which is like annoying. But you know, then we have the eight of wands right here as the catalyst as well as the final result for you group one you were waiting for a message but it feels like it hasn't come yet which you know was on the bottom of this deck actually from a queen of swords libra's card Someone decisive, someone blah, blah, blah. Someone, like, trying to be grounded with their decision-making. Not be entirely um, cruel, but definitely using their mind to make sure they don't cut people as deep as they really like to, because they know. And the ending thing for all this is letting things die so a tentative new beginning can be start with the actually it might be shaky foundation but it's going to end up being firm once it's worked upon very 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 childish but it has potential and scorpius card too you might be dealing with the scorpio who wants to build a foundation with you i feel like or at least wants to start offering something of actual value which is like hmm Now I, I, I know I'm just saying that because I know I'm in here. And that just pisses. I hate when I show up in my own fucking reading. Because then it's like, uh Things are going to be manifesting for you. So keep your thoughts clear and everything. You are definitely in a manifestation mood. So whatever you think might possibly... Come true. I feel like this uh, Queen of Swords right here didn't get the message to not show, to not do something. I feel like, like usually this chick is waiting for the message to get harvested, but I also feel like this person just went ahead without getting the message. Mm. Just putting that out there. Someone should have got the message. Um. Things are not going to work out with this Queen of Wands or trying to get away from this fighting either. Like, even if you offered your cup to her, I don't think she'll accept it. I don't think it's worth working on. And I think some of you might already know that in group one. What the fuck am I in this? Uh, who I think it is shows up, I'm going to be really fucking pissed. What, are you reading for your own sign right now or something? Yeah, and I'm sh uh, and I'm showing up in it. It's just, I hate showing up in my readings. I really do. Like, okay, so usually this is like self-sabotaging, right? But someone's not sure about what to do about it. Like, not making the decision is a self-sabotaging action. 
Yeah, you poop in that box, young lady. Yeah, it's like someone not making a choice is a self-sabotaging thing. With this whole, like, Libra not getting the message and wanting to offer their love. Let's move on to group two. Get the fuck away from the door. We have rain. I knew she was there. Okay. All right. Group two. Let's see what you have to say. Hopefully it isn't as depressing. God. Oh, okay. That's fine. Ah, oh, I got you. All right. Gretchen. Yeah, maybe you won't be able to change your ways. Just want to reach over you with some markers so I can write the date on this. Okay. What is today's date? Do you happen to know? I have no idea. Um, the 8th. That's what it says. The 8th. Okay. Sorry about that. I still remember what day I called this on. Okay. Because that's going to take probably two or three days to fucking sit in there and film. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, your turn. Oh, these are getting. Hell, I've probably been in the back of your video fucking around doing a bunch of this stuff. Oh, you're fine, lover. Well, I don't necessarily want to be in the video. That's the thing. Right. We got the Emperor for you, group two. That's how you're coming in here. The moon is what you're wanting and wishing for. Yep. Queen of Wands is in your fears and rejections, and she's reversed. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles in the situation. God bless America. Obstacles and challenges is not changing or not letting something die. And the catalyst as well as the final result is getting the message to make movement instead of like just going ahead and making a move without getting the message. Beginning theme, the sun reversed. Look at those two people. Someone's not happy. Imagine that. Ah, oh, god damn it. Emperor, right? Usually Aries, because like that's Aries. Look at this big headed dude just dominating this little red pig. At least I think it's a little red pig. I'm not sure. I've never seen a pig with a human nose, but same thing. But um, they're trying to dominate, they're trying to control, they're trying to decide. What, like I can't get over the fact his head's so big. Definitely trying to be the controller of sorts, right? Putting up a fight. Seven of Wands, right here, right? Putting up that fight, trying to be on top of everybody. Putting up... Being confrontational. Like, knocking people down. Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse, right? Usually Capricorn, also Taurus and Virgo, so this might be a Capricorn you're dealing with in this situation. And look at her. She's so proud of her stuff, even though nobody else fucking cares. Like, sure, it makes her sad, but she's able to separate herself and be like, well, fine, whatever. I'll just be happy on my own, and you all can have your own fucking attitude, and there's nothing you can do about it. Just... Putting that out there as a cap. Like, we don't care. Um, if something was manipulated badly with her. Or... Mm. 
Magician Reverse is like something negative came out from someone trying to manifest something, but it's like... Okay, so the Magician and the Emperor are both Aries, right? And if this is like the same person... It's like they had domination over everybody else except for the Queen of Pentacles because she doesn't care. She's cool by herself, right? If this was the Capricorn, he was manipulating badly. Maybe you're trying to get control back of yourself. Like, you know, because it can't be biased, but we'll see. The moon. This is what you want. Illusions. Emotional play. This is like... Pisces Cancer, right? But this is like there's strings on the moon and someone's trying to control people like they're puppets. Like emotional manipulation and control. Emperor, once again. Right? Someone wants that. I don't know why you want that. Three secrets to get a man to do whatever you want. I, 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 I could just suck a dick and that would work just as efficiently. Yeah. He agrees. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, I might have most of them. Okay. Um, group two. There is a want for some sort of control. Emotionally, m to manipulate, stuff like that. Like, this is about illusions and shit. There are two people here being played with their emotions, right? One of them, or both of them, want to be brought back in after being left out in the cult. Five of... Pentacles reverse. Unfortunately, someone was not willing to change their ways and let something die. Possibly Scorpio, because they don't seem to understand that they lack clarity, that they that their judgment is influenced, biased, you know. Um it'd be different if there weren't two people here, but it's more like, you know, the further you walk, the way you're going, like, the more the people talk behind your back kind of thing, you know, like. Go and manipulate people for so long before that shit starts coming back to you. Queen of Wands. This is the fear. Really? Okay. Queen of Wands, Sagittarius' card. Someone who's nettled, um, bitchy, confrontational. She wants her way and she wants it now. She won't come to you, you gotta come to her. She's the Empress. That's the fear, is, um, that someone had the wrong judgment about her. I don't even need a judgment card to say that. The fuck does that even fuck? Okay. And then we have the Eight of Wands, right? Where someone's waiting for news in order, or a message to start movement, right? But they don't know what to do. It's like they're... Was that you? This thing's going on. That thud? This thing. Uh, I don't know. I've been moving stuff in the cabinets. Something in there probably fell over. Okay, because that just kind of freaked me out a little bit because I just felt it. The shelf probably broke in there. Mm -hmm. It's probably uh, something different. Probably jumped from the counter to the floor, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, someone is juggling their options when it comes to. You got me in here opening every counter because the cat jumped to the floor. Sorry. I just. Three more to go. Yeah. Yeah, someone's definitely weighing their options about what to do. The first person that ever got a message, this person got a message, and now they're weighing their options out. Mm. Why am I not surprised? But someone I can't got. Tell if I'm in the frame of that camera or not, my eyes are too bad. But fuck everybody who just watched me tuck my shirt into my pants. That's my lover. He does not care either. Yeah, king of. Swords reversed here. I don't here. see anywhere in the directions of this that says you have to add meat to it. You don't. I 
I'll probably just end up going out and buying a couple of, like a package of chicken breast or something. Hold on two seconds. Okay. Sorry about all the interruptions. My husband has been off work for a minute. And I have not had time to myself all fucking this time. But I am actually by myself now, so I can actually tell you how I feel about this. Group two, you are the person who was supposed to send the message and you didn't. And you've avoided it so long that now you're sitting here waiting for a message, being all nettled and being all in bad attitude because you didn't get your happiness. You didn't get what you wanted. Right? That fucking fear just... Like, it don't... Like, I know this... Who this is for. And I know that I'm definitely in group one. But the person in my group two... Spent so much time... Trying to convince themselves that I was the problem. No communicating about it whatsoever. That it's like, now they're afraid they're completely wrong. And they gotta sit there and watch me. So, watch me. Because I get to do whatever the fuck I want. Do you? That's, I, I, I'm rubbing it into my person right now. But I have reason to. Uh, unlike them, I, like, I've already gone through the work. But I really feel like group two, like, some of you were so, and if this isn't you, and you're dealing with this person, he need not apply. But with group two, it's like this person was so busy dominating that they were pissed that they couldn't dominate the Capricorn. Which is like, you don't dominate Capricorn. That's why Capricorn and Aries kind of have head-butting things, because one of us is going to dominate and it sure as fuck isn't going to be Aries. Because, like, Aries just goes and does things without thinking and we just can't have that. But we will convince them it was their idea. But, yeah, it's like someone was mad that they couldn't manipulate the um, Queen of Pentacles. Right? God puts a smile on my face. My husband's in home right now, so I can be as smug as I want to be. And someone's keeping that information themselves. and it, Or they're going to come out with it eventually in a very dramatic way with the High Priestess Reverse. Like, you have no idea how mad I am that both of us are showing if in this reading right now. After all this time. Sitting there thinking about what has happened. What has been put in. Um, what seeds you have sown. And realizing none of it worked. Alright. Capricorns. That is your reading. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you very much for watching. If you want a personal reading, hit me up with my email in the description below, and I'll make sure to give it, and I'll make sure to hit you back. Especially if you're who I think you are, because, yeah. Good job. Now I'm just fucking, mm. You know, like, yeah, like the only thing I gotta ask is, like, was the past two and a half years worth the 15 years you threw away? That's all I gotta ask for my person that's in group two. Was it worth it? Because Lord knows, like, I'm not the one with the sun reversed. Or the nasty, like, I got an attitude. Like, I do. I'm not gonna, like, I, I, I am what some narcissist would call a toxic person, right? Because I'll talk back to you, I'm confrontational, and I'll let you know exactly how I feel. That's for some people's confrontational, right? That, for some people, makes somebody seem toxic. The problem is, when you keep running the fuck away from people, the shit you run away from catches up to you in the worst ways possible. And that's all I gotta say. You all have a good whatever, and I will see you later. Love ya. Bye-byes.